Not to sound like a broken record, but the situation is bad in this country as it relates to COVID-19, and not all states have been hit equally. In some states, you have governors who are seemingly on the side of the virus, doing everything in their power to continue the spread of this deadly disease. You have individuals like Ron DeSantis and Greg Abbott of Texas who are trying to ban mask mandates and make sure that whatever little tools we have at our disposal to combat the spread of the virus, they're trying to stop that. And in Florida, it's especially bad. Last weekend, Florida reported over 150,000 new COVID cases and ICU capacity is at 94% with 59 hospitals anticipating critical staffing shortages. And Oak Hill Hospital CEO Mickey Smith says that staffers are quitting as they reach their breaking point because of all of this. And yet people aren't taking the virus seriously. Vaccinations have ticked up, but not enough to where we reach herd immunity. So we can actually put this virus behind us, at least in the United States. And this has led to a walkout from doctors in Florida because they're over it. So they're walking out of the hospital to make a statement and send a message to anti-vaxxers. We can't take this anymore. Get vaccinated. We are begging you. So as Mary Poppenfuss of HuffPost reports, about 75 frustrated doctors staged a pre-sunrise walkout on Monday from several Southern Florida hospitals to call out people who are refusing to be vaccinated against COVID-19 and are overwhelming the healthcare system, making their work nearly unendurable. We are exhausted. Our patients and resources are running low, internal medicine specialist Rupesh Daria said at a news conference during the action representing hospitals in Palm Beach County. Jupiter Medical Center emergency room doctor Ethan Chapin lamented the number of people that I'm going to see today who I don't need to, who don't need to be there, who shouldn't have been there in the first place if they'd taken the simple advice of getting vaccinated. Chapin added, all we're asking is, in the same way you trusted us to take care of you, your family, your friends, trust us now in what we're telling you. The vaccine is safe and it can save your life. Infectious disease specialist Leslie Diaz emphasized, the science is there. The clinical trials are in abundance and we must stop to denying the data. The vaccine still remains the most effective and reliable way to stop this madness. And WPTV, which is a local news affiliate in Florida, covered the walkout. And here's a quick clip of what some of the doctors had to say. These people are dying. It's real. It's happening. And the only way we know to prevent it is to get a vaccine. We are exhausted. Our patients and resources are running low and we need your help. This time around, this variant is deadlier, it is impacting the lungs quicker, it's eating away at the lungs, it's causing more problems, it's causing pneumomediastime, and it's causing pneumothoraces, and the patients are dying quicker. And elective surgeries and the visitation policies at many hospitals are also now being impacted. The main message out here today is the vaccine is safe, it is effective, it can prevent you from landing in the hospital, and these doctors are saying everyone should get it. So we've reached a point in the pandemic where doctors are having to stage walkouts to beg people to take a vaccine that is free, widely available, and most importantly, effective. And this clip was posted to YouTube. And, you know, as, as you watch this, one of my viewers, normal people, I'm sure that you think, man, this is really terrible. I feel so bad for these doctors who are quitting, who are overburdened, and they just, they can't take it anymore. But that's not necessarily the response that you'd see if you look at the comment section of that YouTube video or the like to dislike ratio, because the video actually got an overwhelmingly negative response with way more dislikes than likes. And people in the comment section are actually attacking these doctors. One person says 75 quacks. They all need to be replaced. Another person says, this is from all the illegals entering your state. Unreal. This person says, LOL. So let me get this straight. Hospital full of COVID patients and these doctors got the time to walk out and talk to the cameras. Yeah, okay, nice try. This person says, so what is next? Do they refuse to treat people with diabetes because they are obese and did it to themselves? This person says, let them all go. Good, let them all quit and watch how fast the man-made Chinese bat virus poll goes down. And finally, always footage of doctors and empty beds, but never footage of actual patients. Hmm, interesting. Now, just to reiterate, this is the response that people had when they saw a video where doctors were begging and pleading with folks to get vaccinated because they're overburdened. That's the response. <laughs> what do you even say to that? 
they laughed at these doctors rather than trying to feel any shred of sympathy and try to see where the doctors are coming from. They get more conspiratorial and they attack these doctors. And there's a lot more comments that I didn't show to you, but I mean, you pretty much get the point. Nothing will get through to them. It doesn't matter if doctors come out and they beg people to get vaccinated because they can't take any more people in these hospitals because they're filled up and they're stressed out. They're seeing people die when now we're at a state of the pandemic where we have a vaccine. This is all preventable. If everyone was vaccinated, yes, COVID-19 would still be spreading. Having said that, though, hospitals would not be filling up. It would not be as bad as it is if everyone got vaccinated. But yet people think that the doctors are in on this fast conspiracy. It's, it's just truly like these are bizarre times that we're living in. We're in 2021. We have to convince people that modern medicine is safe and effective. And even after we have an abundance of evidence, even seeing doctors beg and plead with them, they refuse to take them seriously, even laugh at them in the comment section. It's uh, very demoralizing to see this, but I can't say that I'm surprised. Uh, I don't think that doctors staging a walkout as profound and you know meaningful as this may be is going to reach these people. They are conspiratorial to their cores. They think that doctors are all part of this vast conspiracy theory to microchip them or magnetize them. Whatever the case may be, they're not budging and they won't budge, possibly even if they get affected with COVID-19 themselves or lose a loved one. It's just, it's truly a disaster that we are witnessing.